Welcome to section 8. In this section we're going to be building a painting application and in this first video we're going to get the basic application set up and set up a basic UI. So let's go ahead and open the UI file in Qt Creator. Okay so here I am in Qt Creator and basically we have the same UI that we had in section 7. We're just going to sort of reuse it for this section. Now, we'll get into the details later on, but in order to be able to paint freely on a Qt GUI, we're going to have to create a custom Qt widget. So, just to get started with our basic UI, I'm going to search for Qt widget here, and there's a container called widget. So, this is just the basic widget that inherits or that is a Qt widget class. And that's all we need for now as far as the main UI. Now additionally, later on, we're going to be able to not only paint freehand, where you can just draw whatever line or shape that you want, but we're also going to support drawing circles and squares. So we need some sort of input for the user to indicate what they're trying to draw. Now to do this, we're going to use the file menu, and I'm going to call it paint. And then we're going to add in options for freehand, for circles, and then squares. Now in code, we'll make these mutually exclusive, but we need to make them checkable. So if I come down here, we'll go through each item and make sure that they are checkable. So all we have to do is check this box. We'll check this box. Go to squares, check this box. Now the last thing I want to do is make sure that freehand is checked by default. So now freehand is automatically checked. So by default, when you start the app, you'll be drawing in so-called freehand mode. And that'll allow you to draw whatever shape you want. So now we can just preview the layout, see what it's going to look like. So nothing really going on in the center here. But we have our checkable options. They're not mutually exclusive currently, but like I said, we can do that in code. So great. So now our UI is looking great. So let's go ahead and go into Visual Studio and set up the queue actions and make sure everything is working with our application. Okay, so here I am in Visual Studio now. Now we have this new project called Painting Application. So I'm going to make sure that this is the startup application. And now we're going to open up mainwindow.cpp. So before we get started doing any sort of coding, let's just make sure that our project builds and that we can run the UI. Okay, so our project built, let's try and run it. And sure enough, we get our UI as we saw in the Qt Creator. So now let's go ahead and make our Qt Action items mutually exclusive. So to do that, we're going to include Q action group. Now in our main window constructor, we're going to set up a new Q action group. Actually, I'll do auto action group equals new Q action group. And we'll set this as the parent. We're going to add our actions. So action freehand, then we'll copy and paste that a couple times. Then we'll do action circles. And finally, action squares. And in code, we'll just make sure that, that the UI freehand action, when we first start our window, is checked. Set checked is true. So now that should make our objects mutually exclusive so that only one can be checked at a time. And we can double check that by running our code. And sure enough, now only one is selectable at a time. So that's exactly what we want. So great, now we have our basic application set up and ready for us to get coding into drawing user input on the screen.